Episode 1, Introduction to the Site and Context. This episode provides an introduction to an extraordinary prehistoric discovery. While the exact location remains confidential to ensure preservation and protection of the site, it is situated within a few miles of the renowned Boxgrove site. This is Boxgrove Church and Priory Ruin, a site steeped in rich history and archaeological significance. The Priory of Boxgrove was founded in the early 12th century by Robert de Hay, a Norman knight who granted the Church of St. Mary, along with surrounding lands, to the Benedictine Abbey of Lassay in Normandy around 1105. The Priory served as an important religious center until its dissolution in 1536 during the reign of Henry VIII, after which the eastern parts of the church were converted to serve as the parish church, now known as the Church St. Mary and St. Blaise. In addition to its ecclesiastical heritage, Boxgrove is renowned for a remarkable archaeological discovery. In 1993, excavations at Earthham Pit, a gravel quarry near the village, unearthed a hominin tibia dating back approximately 500,000 years, making it the oldest human remains found in Britain. The site also yielded numerous Aculean flint tools and evidence of animal butchery, providing invaluable insights into the life and environment of early humans in the region. The convergence of medieval monastic history and prehistoric archaeology makes Boxgrove a site of profound historical and scientific importance, offering a unique window into both the spiritual and early human past of Britain. Our site, though geographically close to Boxgrove, reveals artifacts and lithic sculptures that dramatically expand upon existing archaeological findings. The intricate flint tools and detailed figurative representations discovered here provide compelling evidence of advanced cognitive abilities and complex cultural expressions previously unrecognized in Britain's Paleolithic archaeological record. These findings significantly challenge current archaeological narratives by introducing imagery of animals like dinosaurs and gorillas, creatures not previously documented in British prehistoric contexts, as well as depictions of clothed human figures. This groundbreaking evidence demands a reconsideration of established timelines and cultural developments attributed to early human populations in this region. In the next episode, episode two, we'll explore detailed evidence that these flint tools are undoubtedly products of deliberate human craftsmanship. I'll introduce you to lithic analysis and the fascinating art of flint napping, demonstrating exactly how ancient artisans shaped flint. You'll clearly see intentional signs of human skill, including bulbs of percussion, distinct striking platforms, retouch, and characteristic use wear patterns, carefully distinguishing deliberately crafted tools from naturally fractured stones. In episode three, we'll explore figurative flint nodules, minimally modified stones carefully chosen by prehistoric people for their natural symbolic shapes. Rather than heavily reshaping stones, ancient artisans selected nodules resembling culturally meaningful forms such as animal heads, spherical hammerstones, thumbs, fingers, and elephant-like shapes. We'll discuss prehistoric selection methods, symbolic meanings behind subtle modifications, such as single flake removals or added eye details, and new insights into ancient flint mining practices. Episode 4 addresses the remarkable antiquity of these artifacts. We'll examine patination, the natural weathering on flint surfaces, and learn how comparative patina analysis allows archaeologists to determine artifact age. Compelling evidence indicates many of these finds significantly predate accepted archaeological timelines, potentially rewriting our understanding of human history in the British Isles and beyond. In episode five, we'll focus on the extraordinary animal imagery carved into these lithic sculptures, showcasing clear, identifiable depictions of bears, apes, elephants, and even dinosaurs. By comparing figurative features such as facial profiles, deliberate eye placements, and characteristic postures, we'll reveal how these images challenge established paleontological and evolutionary narratives, urging a reconsideration of prehistoric human knowledge of these animals. Episode 6 examines the astonishing human representations, especially depictions of clothed figures in these flint sculptures. We'll closely analyze symbolic elements such as clothing and posture, discussing their cultural or social meanings, 
and the intriguing connections between human and animal imagery. These complex symbolic depictions provide profound insights into prehistoric human societies. In Episode 7, we'll reassess broader archaeological and evolutionary narratives impacted by these discoveries. We'll explore how these finds compel us to rethink existing timelines, theories of human-animal coexistence, cultural evolution, and artistic development. These ancient artifacts prompt critical questions about established understandings of human prehistory. Finally, Episode 8 summarizes these groundbreaking discoveries, emphasizing their immense significance. I'll highlight why these findings deserve extensive scientific investigation and preservation, inviting collaboration from the archaeological community. Together, we'll recognize how these artifacts reshape our understanding of humanity's ancient past and open exciting avenues for future research. If you'd like to see more content, prehistoric artifacts, and detailed looks at amazing specimens, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support genuinely helps get these videos made. Thanks for watching. Until next time.